What's up guys, this is the Rifeman and I am packed to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. And in this episode, uh, George Wade's force that's been growing in London, has, has that's been being built in London, not growing, um, has finally been deployed and it, they have landed in Morocco with the idea of capturing uh, Gibraltar, using that as a base of operations against Spain, and to maintain control over the Mediterranean, which could be uh, important in a future Ottoman... Um, Prussian war against me. Um, but anyway, we're going to attack this small force outside of town because it's going to draw in the garrison, which will be easier, make it easier to destroy the city. So let's take them out. Then we also have a small Russian force um, flanking around to the south, threatening Konigsberg and Vilnius, that we also need to take out after this battle. Um, but yeah, even though I'm allied with Prussia and the well, I'm allied with Prussia, the Prussians are, are allied with the Ottomans. Uh, sooner or later, Prussia is going to declare war on me because I am a major power in Europe. And this is a really weird... Okay, we're going we're gonna to have to attack that hill. So let's deploy the guns off to one side. Deploy the howitzers up front. What we are going to do, first of all, British Fusiliers. This is what the British Fusiliers looked like on the field. And I think they look pretty great. They look kind of like grenadiers with their tall hats. Man, they do look pretty good. And that's the British Fusiliers. Obviously, the heavy cavalry looks like just general general's bodyguard type units. I'm pretty sure it's the same type. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, so that's the Fusiliers. So you've seen the Swiss Grenadiers. They look, they just look great anyway. They blend right in. We've got 5th Grenadier Roy Regiment, the Royal Welch Fusiliers, which look, I think they look fantastic. Looking forward to bringing them into battle. And then we've finally got, this one's Roferman's Royal Brigade, which is my unit, which actually looks quite similar to Fusiliers. I don't they've said, that they've called themselves Republic. I think they might even be the same... The hat detailing is different. This one's like a... Like a... I don't know what the, what the hell that is. Like a circle circle motif with... Well, not, not feathers, but a shape. Grenadiers, it's a bit more ornate. I mean, the jacket's probably the same, but at least this is different. With, is that the Hanover flag on the top? Hmm. And obviously got my Swiss pikes, which are just... Which just look great. Um, right, so, Grenadiers, they're not the Fusiliers, the Grenadiers are going to go up the centre. Then we're going to have Fusiliers on each flank. My pikemen are going to go up the flank, which might be considered a bit strange. Cavalry, my general is going to get involved on the flank. Artillery up front. Okay. Just run my run my pikes up there because they'd love that engagement. Well, I'm gonna have to check that recording because somehow I kind of alt tabbed. Somehow I didn't even alt tab. I don't know how I managed to minimize my screen curious to see what the recording is actually going to do so the heavy cavalry are charging in so it looks like well I may as well charge them in I may as well charge them in make my Grenadiers push around the flank. The commander's been knocked out. Oh, that's the end of them. Okay, all my guns limber up. So where's... Okay, this my heavy cavalry come back. To be honest, let's actually just deploy... The 
cavalry up front because that's what the, f the, the leading elements are. Lots of cavalry, artillery, and the infantry is only just starting to come in. Pretty cool looking colonial infantry really. So the Fusiliers can continue their march. The Howitzers are going to follow. Okay, the Regiment of Horse go north and deal with them. This Heavy Cavalry deal with the Colonial Light. Pikemen try help them out. Grenadiers just keep marching toward the new position. General's bodyguard's been killed. Fight the Colonial Light. I, mean, I don't even know where this artillery is going to go. Probably over here, maybe. But this is the first blood for my... For this army, no one has any experience. Let's run the Fusiliers because they might get into a good position to shoot the General's bodyguard. So some colonial infantry are going up into the town, so maybe that might be where the Fusiliers we're going to secure. Push the Fusiliers up. To begin engaging. The Grenadiers are going to have to... Well, once the Pikes are in there, they'll really even things up. The Pikes have got their experience. Their first Chevron. Okay, everyone fall back. Grenadiers push up into a position where we can storm and attack the high ground. Pikes go up into the town, get a colonial cav to go down there, get a regiment of horse to go back out onto the left flank, horse guards hunker down. One new men. Where's my where's my guys? There they are. Don't you guys be getting casual getting shot at. No, oh, they got shot. Have they got fire by rank. Nope, they do not. So they are gonna get cleared out in good order. <laughs> One volley and then that was that. Okay, get these grenadiers up into the town. Same with these Swiss grenadiers. Pikes run around the town hall. Okay, my guys can open and open up against the Amazons. Push out. My guys have joined the battle on the floor, the valley floor. Swiss Grenadiers engage the colonial infantry. pushing. There go. They've cleared the grenadiers out. Well, they've cleared the colonial infantry out. You men charge on into the Sakers. 
these guys position on this terrain to fire down south. You guys chase down the artillery. You guys stay out of the way. These men push up. I mean, the artillery is not going to get a look in. In the howitzers, mate. Let's just unlimber them. Get my cavalry out of the way. Actually, get them to chase down the colonial line because they're routing in a favourable direction. Come on, you men. Fusiliers are taking a few hits now. Push these guys up onto the top of the hill. Get our pikemen up here ready. See so many units there. Yeah, they've not they've not got any uh, experience on them yet. There we go. So the only unit of mine that's developed experience so far is heavy cavalry and the militia pikes. Well, not the militia pikes. It's Swiss pikes. These aren't militia pikemen. I think, to be honest, they're routing too quickly. My Swiss Grenadiers have got experience as well. But yeah, I don't think... There's just nothing they can do. They route, they're routing too quickly. It's got some Colonial Dragoons going, Great, we can now fight against the hated British. Oh, because these are Fusiliers, they can deploy stakes. Boy squares just to help them out. This is the first regiment of dragoons. They're also enjoying the battle against the squares. 26th regiment, you better reload, son. Nope, doesn't matter. Hurrah! Yes. Oh my god. Close. Close! Wrong word. Wrong word there, Buster. <laughs> we didn't get many kills because we routed them all too quickly. But let's get our men replenished. We can replenish them within our budgets. And then... Are we just going to attack? I think we are, because we've done... Well, we may as well. Maintain maintain the momentum of the advance, because we have... If we can secure Morocco, we can build a... Well, next turn, because I've got no money. Next turn we can build a church school and uh, begin to convert the region to Protestantism. And then that will be, we will be the lords of our domain. Okay, again, I'm going to drop the old artillery at the back. How it's is further up. Get my grenadiers up front. Mix up my fusiliers on each flank. Whichever one's the weakest flank gets the pikes. And whichever one has the pikes gets uh, the reduced cavalry support. Come on, men. The 
better not be hitting my guys. Oh, they're aiming at my pikes. A classic staple. Oh god, they're the other side of the town. It's going to take a while for them to get into range. So my grenadier... No, not those guys. These four. Advance. Up into range. Advance up. Let's run my cavalry just to keep getting them away from my. Get them, get them away from my. Uh, from my cavalry. Oh! It's gonna screw up your drill! Okay. Is it going to screw up your drill? Let's see how they do this. I think it is going to screw up their drill. To be honest, it's looking like... Oh, they are firing. Everybody fire it well off. Instead It's gonna be a long run. My men are gonna be exhausted. But there's absolutely no point running my uh, moving my artillery up. My cavalry may as well have a fun time. Granted, these guys are... I shouldn't get too bothered about these guys, because they are the garrison. Desert warriors. All the men that were able to flee the field quickly. Still here. To be honest, we just, we just want to make sure they're shattered. Shattered, shattered, shattered. No, they're just routing. Why can't I control? Interesting. I should not have given them that order. Now I can't stop it. Get ready. Yeah, building captured, so that's why my cavalry bugged. Yeah, look. He's ridden his way up there and just gone, well, this, this is mine. Now my cavalry are inside a building. <laughs> case then go hit those militia desert warriors if you can no you can't these fusiliers are going to line up here and engage the enemy you men are going to line up here oh they are going to then I mean, they are desert warriors, so they aren't they aren't fantastic, fantastic quality troops. You guys both drop into squares because you are fusiliers, fusileros. 
Send in the Swiss Grenadiers. Very well. Push you men down here. These Fusiliers are more than enough to knock out this Colonial Infantry. Swiss Grenadiers into the flank of those Desert Warriors. The Royal Welch Fusiliers had their square broken. Come on the 7th Grenadiers. Pikemen in! Yes, my Grenadiers got some experience. The proper way to do it, with the bayonet. You need a fusiliers in the melee combat, they're not exactly the sort of units you'd like to put in there, but... Charge in. Oh yeah, so these are their grenadiers. Fusiliers are actually losing in that melee combat there. Let's get some more fusiliers to help out. Yeah, they are actually not doing well at all. We're doing well enough. Okay, worthy of note. Fusiliers are absolute tin cans and will go over for nothing. So these men charge the Colonial Dragoons. It's only an artillery unit back there anyway. Everyone else is charging. Charge the pikemen on. Actually, no. Get a unit of grenadiers to knock out the sakers. There's only one gun. And these men are beating the dragoons. And they're going to get absolutely cleaned out by the pikemen. Well, there they go, they've already routed. The gunners are routing because the fusiliers are coming. Oh, the grenadier guards are coming. Yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> Excellent. So, Good to know, Fusiliers can't stand up to any sort of melee combat. Bit of a concern, oh look at that. Garrison line unit came back. It's no wonder my Welsh Fusiliers are looking very peaky. This is what heavy cavalry are for. Mopping up infantry that shouldn't be here anymore. <laughs> the swine. So this is this is the reason why I wanted to make sure I had the strait secured by my navy. Because I want, didn't want them to be able to immediately reinforce. So they're upset, understandably. We've got a free spot here see whatever whatever extra replenishment we can get for another 216 that's not bad um we can't build church building in marrakesh unless we stop building something else but that's not going to happen then we also need to do yes, my lord. actually we can group you guys together Let's engage this small Russian army with a predominantly infantry based force. I think I'm going to build up a, a garrison force in Konigsberg. Garrison focused, so maybe one unit of cavalry to pick at 
um, mortars, but mostly infantry and howitzers. Form an almighty line. Charge! So the Nizhny Novgorodsky infantry are decent, they're better than their regular line, but I mean British infantry is just really good. Our guards are... Our guards shoot slower and have less gunnery skills, but they are better in the melee, except the defence. See, line infantry guards are just generally... But they are better across the board. Obviously you pay for it. Oh, the Prussians are helping me out. I didn't even realise. Lance is in General's bodyguard. I'm going to spin the left flank into action once the 3rd Regiment have abandoned their position. To be honest, I could probably do something like this. Yes, it's a lot of infantry, isn't it? The Lancers don't really want to do anything. The General's bodyguard's wandering up. So, so line infantry guards, how they look how do they look compared to the British infantry? Similar, but the jacket's different, they don't have crossbells. And I think the regular British infantry looks looks better because of that. Those white belts. Okay, good. So they've left their position on the wall. So now this flank can do this. The horse dragoon guards are gonna get picked at by my line infantry guards. Oh no, actually it's the infantry. Oh, the gunners are getting it. It always feels like you have to do enough, a certain amount of damage before you start killing gunners. Like they don't, they don't die like you would expect a twenty-five strong infantry unit to die. Yeah, this regiment is say you should not stick around for very long so at some point they're just going to start charging in every direction because they've not got they are almost surrounded there's a small gap here that isn't covered and I could probably cover if I stretch my men out. So a handful of these men should die as my men run through them. Yeah. There we go, the 58 is getting some good experience there. Go on, here comes the 56. Sars have got into combat against the guards, uh, the engineers. To be honest, we could probably, maybe. There we go. Perfect. Put it you guys, I could do that. There we go. Hurrah! So one unit of cavalry has made it outside of this cauldron. But they're gonna lose a lot of men as they run out. Like this unit as they run through will 
Don't lose a lot of guys. So they, those hussars couldn't help but try and charge back. Yep. We're not going to kill them all. Um, for, yeah, look, now the, now the Prussians have come in to sweep up after we've done all the heavy lifting. So let's end the battle there before the Prussians get any benefit. The devils, I'm not having them steal my thunder. There we go. And that's that army almost completely destroyed. You men replenish as much as you can. Okay, I think we've done everything else we meant to do. We have no money, so let's hit end turn and see if anything happens. Because we are over the... Uh, it is time to end the episode. But let's see if anything interesting happens during the end turn phase. Because those are some quite good battles. Yeah, so Spain is, is aware of what's happening. And they can raid as much as they like. We're going to build up some forces to do counter-raiding. The Prussians have cleaned up that leftover force. Good stuff. The Ottomans are sailing troops west. I wonder where they're going. Are you going to declare on me? If, if the Ottomans are declaring on me, this... This is a big deal. Because then that, that might... The Prussians, they'll have to decide if they join me or the Ottomans. And if they do, then we're in, we're in trouble. If they join the Ottomans, then most of my front line, again, with, with, uh, with Prussia is exposed. D don't care about the farm. Let's take care of you guys, so... Guardsmen and some infantry go to Vilnius. You guys get over to Konigsberg. Let's get these cities garrisoned. Too bad about the cavalry. You get some guards. Actually, no, you get, get more infantry each because they are the single most useful thing to have when you're messing around with sieges. Too bad we can't really fortify Minsk. You guys, you can build a... Maybe build a shipyard, actually. Okay, down here in Morocco. So I've got a feeling the Ottomans are going to land with the first rate ships of the line. Okay, this down... Oh, okay, we've already got a dockyard down here. Good stuff. So you're going to become... Trading port. So let's repair everything. I can probably send some guys out to fight the Spanish, but there's no need. Make ready. I can't fortify it. Trade it raided, port blockaded, port blockaded. Okay, let's do more economy upgrading because we're going to need it. So ports ports are always a good thing to upgrade because it means that you can properly take advantage of any commodities you build. So I might actually do... Do I do Pensacola or do I do Florida? How, how's your capacity looking, Cuba? Uh, you, you've got a lot of capacity to produce goods, so I might upgrade your port first. Yes, my lord. Then let's go down to Caracas. I might even try... No, I didn't think they would. I was hoping to get peace. So let's get a... Drill school in Caracas. So it looks like I'm going to have to continue the war. Uh, 
let's build an open gem pit here at Caracas because they produce a lot of money. Plymouth was blockaded. Yeah, you do what you like. Okay, so the port's still broken. You guys raid Porto because it looks like they've they have moved they moved an army out down south, so let's raid Porto to try and keep some men in Portugal. So again, I don't want the craft workshop. So they are going to rebel. Moroccan the Moroccans are going to rebel, but we are sufficiently strong enough I don't really care. Um, okay, I'm going to hit in turn because I suspect the Ottomans are going to declare war on us. And I think that would be an interesting way to end the episode, to see how that goes. Yeah, you're going to attack my little 6th rate. But you're not going to attack my heavies though, are you? Aha! Yeah, I need to build up. I need to begin a blockade of Spain. The fleet is lost. Did, it, did you get captured? Nope. But yeah, I need to build up my fleets so I can blockade the Spanish. Prevent them any... Ah, oh, nuts. Don't go... Okay, I, at least I can cancel that building. Don't do it, Ottomans. Good. They want to. You can tell they really want to because they don't. They don't sail armies up to your coast for nothing. But at least we can, can, can continue our push towards into new Spanish territory and into Russia. Okay, right, so maybe after this turn I'm going to end, end the episode. So you guys are fully replenished. If you guys left the town, they'd be okay with it. So attack the rem remnants of this force here. Because you may as well continue the push towards Bogota. Fleet destroyed. Well, fleet. That's a very grand way to describe sick rates, but there we are. If I exempt you from tax, because you haven't rebelled yet, have you? No, they rioted and damaged the school of poetry. Oh, it doesn't, oh, it doesn't help enough. Build a church school, see if they can do that in two turns. Let's build, let's just knock down the trading port. Fifth rate sail down to Agadir. Any orders? Hmm. Okay, so I've got money to build a fort now, but where do I do I build a fort around Minsk? I think I I've got to, if I assume that Prussia may soon become our enemy. So let's begin rolling out some artillery. And do some actually no no not not economy upgrading economy investing here because that's going to be raided as soon as anything okay, let's build an army board a gets us more cool units cool units and b it allows us to progress up the recruitment track at the research tree so let's do that and a gunnery school let's build a cannon foundry here in scotland as well <clears throat> Lots of good stuff. Okay. What I want to do is go here. I mean, yeah. Take this fifth rate over here. Get this force embarked.
and land just out just out of range of this fleet's area of control. Land and push on Mexico. Well, you can get back to Jamaica, so I can move that fifth rate back. Well, this fleet up here, I can rebuild your magistrate because I forgot about that. Punish the troops. Can you leave? You can leave. Okay, get up to the border of the Pueblo Nations. And my spy can get there first. So you've got eyes on Mexico's capital. So we're pushing it down to the south. Then in Russia, we can't. The only pushing we really want to do is with the St. Petersburg army, which means it needs a bit of a bit of strengthening. And then they can march down towards Moscow. Okay, I'll do one more in turn. <laughs> one more. <laughs> Just because I'm curious to see what happens. Ooh, don't, don't. Oh. Okay, my HMS Victory fleet might have to go blockade that <laughs> blockade breast because it looks. <gasps> Ooh. I think do the Prussians know because they're moving their troops in a way that you think they know. Oh, the Ottomans got rebuffed by the Georgian fleet. I don't want. To, I could attack them with my fleet outside of outside of southern Spain, but I don't want to. I don't want to kick the war off. I need to be ready to fight it if I need to, but I don't want to start it. Oh no, it's not the flag of Hanover. Hanover's just one horse, not one back to back, like on those, like on the, uh, the caps of my men. They really hate this particular farm. Whoever runs this farm, they, they really don't like. Okay. A great arsenal's being upgraded. Keep raiding away. Uh, let's knock down the church school because that's not going to help. Okay, you guys can replenish and then we can start to build some colonial troops to march out and destroy the rebels and the, Sp and the Spanish. Um, yeah, that's their fleet the army that was here a fifth rate in a war galleon i mean you don't really need any more than them okay let's build a sub blockade fleet new men combine to blockade breast to make sure they don't leave and portsmouth Let's build primarily third rates and fourth rates because we don't actually have a lot of competition. Okay, they There we go, see so you raid the Hav. You raid Porto. And this sloop. Get on to Casabranca. Casabranca? Didn't realize I'd ever call that. Tech advance. So we've got carcass shot and we've got reform naval administration. So let's fix those things. Okay, our spy got pretty good visibility, really. Go down to Iasi. Enemy raid. Yep, that's okay. Got a more mines. We've got better roads. Some really good stuff. Lithuania's garrison 
is pretty good now. I think the thing to do is to go over here and upgrade. Because look how much stuff we've got. We can upgrade of, of the economy in uh, the Americas, right? Okay, no, not... Uh, roads are... Roads are good because the longer you have them, the more they contribute because they, they really help contribute to growth. Um, hmm. No, actually, let's get let's make sure we get, we've got all our farms up to the the one below palatial estates, which I think we do for the most part. Okay, so let's build. Do you might have to be able to start building palatial estates? Um, up here would be a good place to build them because you've got two, definitely two villages to build. Up Louisiana's got. Uh, can you have a couple? Might even be more. For some reason in my head I've got three in this one, but I don't see the third. So I think I might be lying and making that up. Stupid brain. But then we can take this force and attack the Mexican capital, which is a good way to end this episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the assault on the new Spanish capital. Cheers, everyone.